Fujax is sudden and intense anal pain that lasts for a short time. Fortunately, this isn't a serious condition and some simple physiotherapy exercises and techniques can quickly relieve this type of anal pain. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today we're looking at four ways to relieve proctalgia fujax or anal rectal pain. Now, apart from being a difficult word to say, proctalgia fujax is thought to be caused by a spasm in the pelvic floor muscles, particularly in and around the anal sphincter. And this is where some physiotherapy techniques come into play. Now, before we go through these physiotherapy techniques, uh, some of the symptoms of proctalgia fujax that you need to be, to be aware of are listed here. But some of the most noteworthy symptoms are that this is a really brief episode of intense pain. It will last for less than 20 minutes always, and this is a diagnostic criteria. And it can happen during the day or it might even wake you up during the night. Now, it's really very important that you have this condition diagnosed by your doctor rather than self-diagnosing because there are other causes of anal pain that need to be excluded. So make sure you see your doctor for a diagnosis of proctalgia fujax. And by the way, if any of the information here helps you as we go through, I'd love it if you could give it a like below because then YouTube will recommend the video to other people too. So let's dive into our techniques now. The first technique recommended in the um, literature is massage through the area. Now, there's a number of ways that I've found that you can apply massage, just like you'd apply massage to tight neck and shoulder muscles in and around the rectal area. You can, first of all, use a rolled up towel and you could use a hand towel or a bath towel folded in half and rolled up placed onto a chair and sitting on that towel just to apply gentle pressure into the anus and the rectum. Now you can move side to side, you can rock between your sitting bones side to side or perhaps even forwards and backwards while that spasm is there. You might also like to use a larger Pilates style ball, again on a fixed chair to sit on and rotate around. Or you could use a smaller tennis ball, um, a spongier ball to massage around the area very gently to relieve some of the spasm, just as you would use a tennis ball to relieve spasm in and around the neck and the shoulder area. The second technique that you might like to think about using is a technique involving this position here, which is the happy baby pose in yoga. And it's interesting, this is also recommended in the literature, um, using this position, grasping the inner buttocks and drawing them apart gently. Now, in my mind, this is going to apply some stretch to the tissues, um, including the external anal sphincter. So this is a way of getting stretch, gentle stretch to this area. And the technique described in the literature is to adopt this position using the fingers on the inner buttocks and to bulge down gently as if passing gas. So that's another technique in your repertoire. The third technique, and it's also uh, described constantly in the literature, is to use hot water and a hot water bath. Now, a hot water bath would be at 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And soaking in the bath, and we know that warmth relieves muscle spasm and muscle tension. But in my mind, because proctalgia fujax is such a brief episode, you might not actually have time to run a bath. So it might be useful to um, get into the shower, run the warm water over your back and through and down into your buttocks. If you've got a detachable handle on your shower, you might actually detach that and use the nozzle to apply gentle pressure, and that's gentle, uh, warm water, around the anus just to help again relieve those pelvic floor muscles and relieve the anal sphincter to encourage it to relax. Now very finally deep breathing exercises are a technique that we use in physiotherapy to release pelvic floor muscle spasm. Now if you're going to be doing your deep breathing exercises I suggest that you sit down, adopt tall posture, Place your hands over your lower abdomen and as you breathe in, your belly moves forward and you breathe down into your pelvic floor. So you visualize the pelvic floor between the sitting bones, lengthening and opening, stretching out as if to pass gas. Now you do that with the in-breath. So breathing in deeply, ribcage expands, belly moves forward and pelvic floor moves down 
and then let the air fall away. Now I think it's really useful while you're doing your deep breathing to be mindful of the fact that it's important to relax with this condition because anxiety and stress have been associated with proctalgia fujax or anal pain. So I think you could actually use the deep breathing exercises in combination with some of the other techniques that I've already described to help with pelvic floor relaxation and help to relieve anal sphincter pain. So I really hope that this information is informative and also too reassuring for you if you are a sufferer of proctalgia food jacks. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed the video and enjoyed the content today. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like below so that YouTube will share the information with other viewers too. Thanks so much for watching today. Really look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.